hotspot materials are full of different rectangles that can be automatically fit to your map geometry. You can fit it to similar faces by pressing Alt H, or you can do per face with Alt T. They're very easy to make, but you need a specific kind of material that looks like a hotspot material. So I'll make one real quick in GIMP. I'm making a bunch of squares of different sizes. If I have multiple squares of the same size, it will choose one randomly. This is actually a pretty bad layout, but it'll work for the tutorial. So I have my hotspot in my add-ons materials folder, and now I'll open up the material editor and make a real quick material. This material, I only made a base color for it, so that's all that we're going to have. And now well, let's go to the subrect editor. It's this one right here with all the squares on it. We can browse for a preview material. We'll find the hotspot material we just made. And now all we have to do is drag in our rectangles. You can also have rectangles overlapping if you want. If these were wooden beams, you definitely would not want them overlapping, but for something like a plaster wall, you would probably want them to overlap. I can press Ctrl A to select all these at once, and then I can turn on Allow Rotation, because these rectangles, they don't have a specific up direction. And then I can save this hotspot material. I'll save it in the exact same spot with the exact same name as what I called the material itself. Now if I go back into the material editor, I can go to attributes, and I can set the rectangle definition file to be the .rect file that I just made. And hey, we're done. Let's go and hammer and see how it looks. Wow, that looks perfect. This is so realistic. And I can choose between similar faces or per face hotspot. That's crazy. Like, comment, and subscribe.